I'll be seeing you around, Chief. I give him two weeks. Hey, Hicks. Well, hey, hey, Bar. You know we're proud of you striking out like this, right? But I, I need to tell you something, all right? I've been in this business a long time. It is gonna be hard, a lot harder than you think it is right now, okay? There's gonna be a lot of people who want you to fail and a lot of people who want you to keep going and they're gonna be saying a lot of the same things. So you gotta listen, all right? All right, well, I think I understand. I think I'm only gonna listen to the people that want me to succeed, though, so, uh, see ya. He's gonna be on the streets in a week, tops. That new uniform? Oh yeah, uh, you just got it the other day. Uh, the chief made the announcement that we were all getting there he is! There, here I the am. The walked away. What can I say? I gotta follow my dream, guys. We're gonna miss you, Frenchie. You were integral. I know. I practically held this place together. I don't know how you're gonna do it without me. Sometimes you gotta follow your own dreams, so this is what I'm doing. That's right, Frenchie. You go out there and be a detective. We'll be right here cheering for you. It's not gonna last a day, is he? <sighs> They're gonna eat him alive out there. Coffee? Today was the day. I'd finally scraped enough loose cash together to realize my dream. I was finally opening my very own private detective agency. It had taken me six years at the precinct, three nervous breakdowns, countless cups of coffee, one old lady hitting me with a purse, and exactly 143 donuts. The office looked great, but it took more than just a good looking office to be a real detective. I needed a case. I was starting to get hungry. I was hungry for justice. Or cup of coffee. Honestly, they both taste the same. You may as well have called that coffee fate, because no sooner had I taken a sip than trouble came knocking on my door. Is this the Hicks Detective Agency? Why, yes it is! Uh... Have a seat. My name is Kitty Hawkins, and as you may be aware, I have come by a large sum of money after my father's late passing. He left me with something special. Call it a family heirloom. What might this heirloom be? It was a diamond. A black diamond. It is called the Black Cat's Eye. My father gave it to me when I was a little girl. He found it during an excursion to Moscow. I had loaned it to the local jewelry store for a showcase, but it vanished. And I presume you want me to track down this missing diamond. <laughs> you are the detective, are you not? I am? Right, I am. Now, do you have any leads for me? Oh, just the address of the jewelry store. I'm sorry, detective, I can't help you more. I trust you know my services aren't exactly cheap. <laughs> oh, money is no object. I always loved it when they said that. Miss Hawkins, I'll find your diamond. Oh, thank you so much, Detective. If there's anything I can do to assist you, please let me know. That diamond is my treasure, and I will do anything to get it back. Granted, that was the first time I'd ever heard it. I had no way to contact her. It's this door, sir. So, what can I do for you, sir? Um, I'm looking for information on the Black Cat Diamond. I was told it was on display here. It was. The police already came and cleaned out the evidence. But, if you must take a look around, the diamond was in that display case. Here it was, the scene of the crime. I had to be careful here. So what if the cops had taken all the evidence? There had to be something they missed. After all, the cops always miss something in the movies. That's where the detective came in and saved the day. You know, detective, 
If you want a tip about how to find the missing diamond bracelet, just find the lady with the matching earrings. <clears throat> the red sun melts the blue snow. Do you know what that means? It's code, Barney. Come on. There are no codes. It's not one of your detective movies, Felix. Look, I got you the file for the break-in, all right? Don't tell anyone I did this for you. This is going to be the last time I help you. The guys at the station are already taking bets on whether or not you're going to quit. Chief's threatened to blackball anybody who gives you help. But I'm happy to do it for you, all right? Just to this payback for that last cup of coffee. Thanks, Barney. Felix. Did Kitty Hawkins put you up to this? Yeah. Well, then you get out of this, all right? She's trouble and the bad kind. I can handle myself, Barney, but thanks. Well, listen. Wherever black cats go, bad luck follows. You told me codes were dumb. It's not a code, it's a proverb, dumbass. Just saying. I finally had a lead and some usable evidence to go on, but even then, that file was pretty bare. I'd been working for a month and hadn't found anything. I needed to solve this case soon or I wouldn't be able to pay rent at the end of the month. From the evidence, it was clear the diamond was still in town. Now that I had information, all I needed was a sign. Uh, can I help you? Yeah, I'm... Looking for a treasure. Did you see the sign? You know, I did, and it really opened my eyes. You see, the Black Cat Diamond was stolen from Collier's a few days ago, and of course it would be stupid to try to escape town of such a valuable item. So where would you go to hide jewelry? Amongst other jewelry, of course. almost got away with it, too. You, sir, are under arrest. For what? Some Russian lady brought that in a month ago. She said it was worthless. Wait, what? You're a good detective. But you have made one mistake. Miss Hawkins. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, detective, but Kitty Hawkins is just a red herring. My real name is Natasha Vrunia. You're a socialist? <laughs> <laughs> Wrong again. My crime is not socialism. I'm a businesswoman, and this is all part of my master plan. The USA and my home country will go to war soon, and, and it will be really hard to sell the imported Soviet merchandise. Unless I set up shop here. Wait, I don't understand. Typical American. I needed to, a building to build my organization, but I needed something cheap. And so, this building was purchased by an antique dealer before me. I realized that once he was accused of a crime, this place was going to go back on the market and I was going to buy it and start my structure. I make Russian corporation coffee. Starbucks! <laughs> You're crazy. No one now or ever in the history of the future We'll pay eight bucks for a cup of coffee. Do you have any idea how much you Americans consume coffee? You drink it more than you smoke. But if someone were to prepare it for you, you'd pay a king's ransom for it. I had to actually stop and consider what she was saying. I did drink a lot of coffee, and the idea of someone making it for me sounded amazing. But. I wasn't about to let some criminal cheat the system to get ahead. What the that hell wasn't are the you American doing? Way. Thankfully, I had one last trick up my sleeve. Are you looking for this? Damn, these Russians were good. Well, what I meant was I had one last other trick up my sleeve. Get her, boys. Bro, 
brilliant work, Felix. We never doubted you for a second. I mean, I'm responsible for ten separate steak dinners. I still want to know one thing. How did you know to call us, anyway? I know not to walk into an active arrest without calling the cops first. I may be a bumbling detective chief, but I'm not stupid. Well, be that as it may, I hope this is the beginning of a very nice friendship, Mr. Hicks. Why'd you shake his hand? Now that I'd solved my first case as a private eye, I knew I had the skill to make it in this business. I put my first criminal away, I earned the police's respect, and I stopped a multinational coffee company from taking over the economy. Things seemed like they were finally looking up. Oh, uh, hi ma'am. Welcome to the Hicks Detective- Don't you start that with me, Hicks. I'm the landlady, remember? I own the building. Mm -hmm. Your first month's rent is due today. Pay up or get out. I, I understand, but you see, I didn't get paid for my last job, so... Oh, does it sound like my wallet cares about your feelings? Go to the bank or get out!